panel discusses topical issues this quarter in dance hall, including cartel's appeal. Jamaican society, it has changed drastically. Ghana stop dance hall star visits our stage. I obtained beef with the Jamaican government. What a song they got, that song they're not going to know about it. Brit Jam Review, E News, Reviews, and more, all coming up. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be back. Bad man play man at about soccer, not nah, snooker. Rockabilly grade, not conclusive, they no not Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back after seven consecutive stagings in Second City, Montego Bay. Brit Jam is now definitely a staple in that city. Jason Williams was among those jamming with the Brits last week in Montego Bay. Seven days of events in and around Montego Bay. We caught up with the jammers on the weekend for two of the big ones. On Saturday at Tropical Bliss. <laughs> an all-white affair featuring live appearances from Bling Dog, Conscience and openly gay American rapper Young M.A. Aside from her lack of hits, it's fair to say that her appearance was fairly well received by the largely Jamaican audience. You know, Brick Jam was overload. Yeah, Boy, Brick Jam vibes, no, my brother. The vibes nice, are all white. I'm gonna come up, number white, all right, number white, come brown. Me, I'm a queen. Nikisha, and on Sunday, it was all about flesh on the Palmyra property. We got people from Orlando, New York, we have the British them. It's all around good vibes. So you know this music from Afrobeats to Calypso to Khan to Soka to Hip Hop to Dancehall. It's reggae, it's just everything. It's a good festival, I swear. You don't know in our massacre where they are, Brick Jam. And I'm vibe mad. You understand? Top Strike, I'll Gringo. Ladies came out as bare as they dared and departed to top selectors and performances from international recording artist Genuine, Tifa, and a fiery I Octane. It's your girl T-I-F-A rapping for on stage. I'm going to spell it out. I want it D-E-F. You know, the patrons have really supported us. They're here every night and I'm very happy about that. I can only say, come next year and the year after and the other year because it's guaranteed an experience. What's next for Brit Jam? Well, we're going into Dubai and we're, we'll be venturing into other territories. We have done South of France already, but we're going to Dubai in October and we'll be venturing in, in the African territory and of course, watch out, we're coming to Canada soon. Meanwhile in Kingston, Jamaica Carnival's return to the scene is looking like a success. Hundreds crammed New Kingston for Soka in the City last Saturday, headlined by Bayesian Queen Alison Hines. And by the jumping, gyrating and waving you see in these scenes, it's clear what we mean when we say Jamaica Carnival 2017 is looking up. <laughs> Music, no. And that same night at Hope Gardens, Protégé did it for the culture. His now annual concert featuring himself and his friends in music. People, they must well. the food that you will cancel. Live, much like last year, a great turnout and superb performances. The fans of Vibes Cartel this week got a glimmer of hope that their hero may have a chance at freedom. It was announced this week that a judge has granted the artist and co-accused leave to contest their guilty conviction. According to Cartel's lawyer's office, they are expected to submit all documents to the courts by July and is expected to be heard by September. In the meantime, this is Sean Kingston featuring Vibes Cartel with a track aptly titled Chance. Yes, you owe me one. All right, so those are the stories making our e-news and reviews this week. Stay with us right here on stage, though. Still to come, panel discusses Cartel's appeal among other topical issues in dance hall this quarter. African dance hall visits our stage and we're talking about the top man in Ghana. Coming up right here on stage. Well, 
we go right back. Well, if a party me, a party me, I do it well, Papa. Me no look nobody face, no, Papa. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back. History shows that most Jamaicans of African descent came from Ghana. It is therefore fair to say that Jamaica's music is rooted in that West African state. That reggae and dancehall are incredibly popular in Ghana would not surprise those of us who understand our history. Stoneboy is a leading man in Ghanaian dancehall and is our very special guest right now on stage in Jamaica. <laughs> Stone, blessed love, sir. Welcome, welcome. Respect manners and greetings. Wow. <laughs> so you have all the part where don't pat Bridget? I must. Mm. Because, like you just said, you know, like, the roots. Yes. It's where it's from. So I know that uh, some of the local languages already flow like patwa. Yes. So, I mean, I say, so it never was really difficult for me to just pick it up and thing else. Once so I play a reggae and dance, I'll catch it on the nose. This the man I'll say, this is my style, this and that. So. And now that you're in Jamaica, it's your first time here, right? First and time, how, officially. <laughs> and and um, the, the perceptions you had coming in, how, how is it different from the reality now? Um, not too different, but uh, one thing, one thing me says, me, made I feel like, um, made I think that me we hear like a, Gun, gun shot and thing and thing down at Kingston already, you know, because be a gun vibe, them are preaching, I sang them, some I sang them, and all okay. Kingston dread and all Kingston this and that. So, me that ask Woodrow, say Woodrow, all right now, me just steam and you know, say, the perception is always, 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 always wrong somehow, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I was yeah. surprised anyway, like, yeah, me really surprised to see the settings in our, in our way where them now go show the world, you see. Say it, say yeah, it. So, 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 you, <laughs> you're, so you like what you're seeing so far? Yeah, definitely. I say, do. All right. So what is your business in Jamaica, though? Um, last week was Ghana independence, you know? Mm -hmm. Ghana um, was 60 years after independence. Um, so we had an event down in uh, down, uh, Norway. So I flew all, all the way to Norway with my team, you know, mm -hmm. but represent Ghana and perform for the, you know, the masses. And surprisingly, you see our, our type of other Africans and even white people fill up the place more than 50 half of, of, of my own people. So, okay. So that means, that just shows you how the music, you know, the regular dance of music and Afrobeat has gone so far. So after that end today, I decided to come to Jamaica. Because mm -hmm. now I was closer, like, every time I plan it, I don't really make it. I'm like, all right, no, I'm closer, so let me just, jump in, come check the vibes, you know, make some proper links. Like, I have a whole heap of links that I've never met in person. Mm -hmm. So this is also the time to reach them and, you know, mm -hmm. meet them like Woodrow, like Amso's, like, like, like Stampy, like, you know, mm -hmm. all of them, you know. Okay, so you're in the street in Jamaica and making links. And so you've been doing a little work. Would you be recording sure. anything sure. in the studio and so on? Before I got here, I just jumped into a studio, like, mm -hmm. you know kick up a thing and rush, yes, sir. <laughs> OK, cool. <laughs> All right, so, so talk about your music now in Ghana. Where are you now in the scheme of, of Ghanaian music? Um, where, 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 Ghana music is at a point, especially for me, at a, I'm, at, I'm at a certain height that um, everybody's looking up to. Yes. Everybody's looking up to from, from people who, from predecessors, you know, and even my own young fellow artists, because the reggae, the dancehall, and the Afrobeat, mm -hmm. plus lots of melodies, you know. So See. at this point now, everybody is gravitating to that energy right now. That's why I am. So I put in a lot of work, because I know that people are watching. A lot of people getting inspired. And so you're in the top tier? Definitely, number one. Number one, as it relates to dancehall? Yes. And reggae, yeah. Afrobeat, it, it, too? Yeah, or would there be a bigger? Afro, pure Afrobeat artists. Pure Afrobeat artists. Afro artists. Uh, in Ghana, no. In Ghana, no. Like, cause we, the Afrobeat sound now in West Africa is a Ghana sound, regardless. Okay. So that's like the foundation already. The typical Afrobeat now is even finding it difficult. 
Mm-hmm. Down in Ghana now. Oh. Mean that. So, so you mean dancehall yes. and reggae are run round that? That's so the Afro dancehall and reggae. You hear me ask? Like that one the mix that, up the the all mix three. Of, the mix of all three. Uh, the hybrid of the all hybrid three. Of three are oh, it, and that's, that's, that's what's worth. Me run it still, you know. And then you are run that. Yeah. All right, pause for a minute. Let's give our viewers a taste sure. of your music. Right here, right here. Let me hold you tight. You feel cool, I'm a light. Gonna love you better. My touch make you feel a little light. I'm not feeling when I read. I knew that one. From Stone Boy. Boy, I'm cool and new. Wow, and cool and new is I wear, you know, my, my, my ethnic, my dialect. Your dialect? Yeah. Oh, cool. Eyes on you would say I'm cool and new. You can't try that? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> say it again. I'm <laughs> cool. Emku. 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 So, yeah, Emku Lenu. Emku Lenu. Yeah, so Emku Lenu. Yeah. Eyes on you. Yeah. Wow, those girls, you know, those Make girls it. could get my eyes anytime. For real. Those <laughs> girls are, they're from, they're Ghanaian. Um, Ghanaian. Some of them, or? some of them Ghana, some of them Jamaican still, because we shot the video in London. In London. So I can okay. make her two of them say them come from Jamaica. And so so it's, again, a hybrid. Hybrid, <laughs> everything, everything. Group of hybrid. ladies, a mix of ladies. For real. And the, the song is, is all, all your everything. music is in, in there, all of your, your genres are mixed in this, right? The, the genres that you're drawing. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. The Afro, yeah. the, the dance Afro beat, the high life, the dance the pidgin, patois, English. You Everything. Know? Just a, and this was done in London. So, so, so where is this record now? Where is uh, this? Track? This record is, is is number seven now on the top ten African chart MTV base. Mm -hmm. That is the whole of Africa. Yes. But in Ghana, it's number one now. A, a burn up you Ga see it. Ghana yeah. right mad thing. Mad, mad, mad. Mad song. Okay, so all right. So let's talk a little bit more now and, and what's burning up Ghana. We know that there's the presence of reggae roots, mm -hmm. one drop reggae. One drop, yeah. And then of course the dance hall. And if you're the top man, you're the top man, mm. there, that means that dance hall is, is ahead of reggae, roots reggae, would yeah. you say? Dance hall is definitely ahead of roots reggae. Yeah. Yeah, in Ghana. All right, we'll take a break right here, Stone Boy. Sure. We'll come back, we'll talk about Want to talk a little bit more about music? Yeah. Want to talk about family? Free. Want to talk about religion and your upbringing in Ghana? Definitely. Is that good? Me will tell you, man. All right. <laughs> all right. So we'll be right back with all of that. Say we can do anything for you, girl. I'm ready. I want to touch you. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. All right, so we're back with our very special guest in this segment, Stone Boy of Ghana, right here on our stage. So, sir, do you, do you get pushback from the society, from Ghana, uh, you know, about your dancehall music up, as opposed to the, the more, um, to, to reggae, to roots reggae? To no. Reggae. Personally, as an artist, and I'm not the only artist in Ghana, definitely, and other people pick up different form of inspirations. Mm. So, I say, so we have artists where, where we are moving at that line there, yes. just to get the hype and get the, the thing going, yeah. and trying to live off of the, the, that type of dance hall where it's violent and them feel like at them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And there's other type too, like, I think the, I would see myself as one who doesn't promote none of them things. So you're so not I into violence. I don't, I don't get your no music, push, but my thing is hundred percent legit and correct, you know. From and you're running the place with that. Trust me, you know, from presidential wow. status to the one in the market to the truck push of them. them read my thing that. Well, like that's that, that's that's commendable, and maybe some of our youths in Jamaica ought to listen exactly. to that. Exactly. Because you're running the place in Ghana, and and you're talking about millions of people onto your music Definitely. in just Ghana alone. Exactly. Not to, to mention the wider West Africa and Africa and, exactly. and, and Europe. Because you're big in Europe, spend a lot of Definitely. time in Europe, don't you? Definitely. And the last show we did at Europe was so loud, you can't see it clear. So dance hall, dance hall doesn't have to be violent. <laughs> it doesn't. Violence? No, 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 it doesn't. And, and what about um, sexual explicitness? Um, ah. 
Them say sex sales, you know. Sex sales. So, so you good, you good with that? Yep. That's, them say, that's, and me say it, you know, so I can't really defend that, you know. I yeah. just, I just, I just <laughs> have to deal with it because sex sales, I saw them say. So if okay. I go a bit more explicit, I'll yeah. blame it on sex sales. Mm -hmm. And if I don't, I still keep my, but, but this is one of my most sexual videos you can find. This one. So I try to keep it in a well, this is, sense. This is all right. Decent. I, mean, I, I, don't, I never put no, I, no, I never do that. Maybe I should go back and check, you know, but not <laughs> deliberately. I never put no, <laughs> I, yeah. Can, yeah, can I, have to, I have to make sure I say, me I say, me I say the right thing. I never put no nudity in a me, in a me thing before. Yeah. You know, no, sir. I, I know that the respect that I get out, out of the street and, and, from, and from a certain upper class of people, you know, it's because of that type of cleanliness that we put to the thing. So you don't think that, so, all right, so, so, so violence in terms of music in Ghana, is, is violence in music there? Sincerely speaking, violence is it, there in a certain sense, you know. People will throw a job at people every time on them songs, them, you know, and then people will reply to songs. You know what I mean? And other artists will just be throwing things. That's right. I personally have gotten a lot of, yo, there's rivalry, that's what I'm Yeah. Yeah, there is, there is, there is. Anytime, some try, people try to you know, come So, will by war, man, at you, just like we have it here. Where, yeah, will it, yo. And so, do you actually have clashes, live clashes? Where? Uh, I think when I started, it was like that, you know? I did go up on radio and one on one, two to two, and artist to artist. I saw me start my career, I saw me you know. Yeah. So me kill off of people, you know, me, and them carry her like that, you know. Mm -hmm. From them start there from as I was 15 years, you know, till now, me never lose nowhere, you know. And then, so that's how me start, but after me, you know, all them people that were come up, never really did have to go through them clash things, so. Oh, I said to so, me, because yeah, you paved the, the way for them. You see me, I say, so I don't, I, like I went through that, that, that mm. stage, but now it's not like that. People don't clash like on stage. You have a mic, you have a mic, and I mean, they don't do it like on the regular. I, I did have to go defend my crown every weekend. Wow. Every weekend for like three years continuous. You know, all when we did, we did our school. See, so. <laughs> you <have to> defend <laughs> it. Yeah, I don't know. So, oh. Who are the popular Jamaicans? Whoa, listen to Ghana. everybody, man. We, we listen. I can't, sorry, I can't say they. We listen to Busy Signal, we listen to DeMarco, we listen to Keep Preach, we listen to Chronic, we listen to Sizzler, to Capital Town, we listen to Vice Carter, we listen to Ayoctane. Wow. I'm still mentioning, I don't want to leave out none of my bridging them out of it. <laughs> we still listen to Elephant Man, we still listen to Conscience. We still so the who's, yo, once they are Jamaican yeah, yeah, dance yeah, and true. they arrive, they are yeah. in and Ghana. And the reggae too, and, and interestingly, the whole, the, the, the whole of people know, they listen to some of the foundation Jamaican reggae artists them too. Mm. But it's only the smart youth them that will relate to the one in time and one back. Same, same. Like myself, you know. So you must be eyeing <laughs> the world now to take the world. Because we see you now where your song, dance all, as we were saying yeah. earlier. Yeah. The world is onto it and it's consuming it. We in a BET 2015 for you know best inter best international artist, Africa the BET. Africa's biggest right and I the should... same Reggae dancehall paved that way for me, like the same Afro dancehall, you know, the blend of it. So two, 2015, say that again, 2015, 2015 best international, international yeah, um, African. At BET, at the BET. At BET Awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so they are on to you as well. Yeah, definitely. So the different experiences that, especially those of us who were brought to this side exactly. of the world by, through slavery, and we have our own experiences that inform our music. So yeah. our music is based on our experiences. Yeah. The Jamaican experience, yeah. American experience, and those in Europe, the UK yeah. and so on. Even in Africa. Those experiences um, have manifested in the music that we all do. Yeah. And now the African, the African like you, the, um, from Ghana, Ghana and from West yeah. Africa in particular, those of us, yeah. those of you who speak the language that yeah. we speak, the, the common yeah. language, which is English, yeah. you now take the music and you put in you go back to the roots with it, exactly. which is the African, African sound, sound, the African German, the African, because we all are, we had carried it with us exactly. in slavery. You take it back down there and you, you brought these experiences, all of these Western mm. experiences mm. into your own mm -hmm. um, music and you're the coming best. out with a sound and a vibe that is unstoppable, I feel. I see it as Africa's children. Exactly. Are coming back together. 
are being reunited. Perfect that way. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and so it's really, soon I think it won't matter where you, are, where you are or where you were born and raised, you know, that we, we all will be singing the same song, so to speak. For real. Again. <laughs> No, That's if why anybody, we even if anybody you. should be doing new <laughs> reggae and yeah. dance all, it should be Africa. Manas. So there's this big debate about, you know, people stealing, stealing our music. Stealing, yeah. Well, we yeah. can't say that about Africa because Africa could say to you, exactly. to us, exactly, exactly, it's really belong, it really belong to us. For real, may, may, may I ever say this at one place before, you know, and I'm glad to hear see it and that way. There, but yeah. we're not take nothing from nobody. I just, I just win at same, at same we. Okay. You know, it's just us traveling across. You know, and spreading yeah, yeah. the vibe. That's why I couldn't even. They can't define we soon, sooner or later. They will just, they will just say the African music again now. And I know a lot of man them who are elsewhere in the other African countries who be like, yo, Stone Boy, me like how you push your thing. Me like how you take the thing over there, so over there, so on this. And we see the drive, we see the force, see how you use, make the people understand. Say, they can be dancehall, they can be reggae, they can be Afrobeat, or blend it one, because this is where we come from. So these things are more passionate to me. Also on the side, I have like a foundation where I pay people fees. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I try to help people out of them things that, you know, as, as I look a foundation with me have, but them violence there, I try to live up like them. So man and man look at me and feel like, no, Same. you know, come from a shy man, you know. Yeah. It? So it, 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 it brings me a lot of joy to know that I have been able to achieve that, you know. I've been able to change the face of, my yeah. community. Yeah. Yeah. And so they, right now people mention a shy man and don't bring the violence and the crime and the, and the robbery no more. Yeah. Name clean. Yeah. Ultimately only you should yeah. be able to yeah. only you can define you, you know. Exactly. Only you can exactly. define you. So so talk a little bit more about your family. What 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 um, what's your family like? What? I'm a first son, mm -hmm. I'm a twin. My, my twin brother passed when we were babies. Um I have five sisters, you know what I mean? Family-wise, you know what I mean? So I'm a regular family person too, you know, I look after family the same way. Yes. How far did you go in school? Um, I reached university. Yes. Yeah. I studied marketing. Marketing? Yeah. Where? In Ghana? Yeah, University of um, Professional Studies. So you're a dropout? Yeah. No, so no, 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 I'm not a dropout. You're no, finished? School. You, yeah, we're finished. You, you know. So, so you, yeah. you, you're certified? You definitely one. Uh, oh, first so degree? We did Master I try to steal the certificate there at home. I never really check where they found it. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but it shows me a market the thing, uh, yeah. the marketing skills did there from long, you know. So you So the books can't justify me, you know, I'm street smart already, you know. Okay, so you <laughs> so, and you're using that marketing um, the, the, skills, yeah, basically. The skills basically, that you've uh, that basically. you've acquired in university. Basically. In your music. Basically, Kingman. See nice, that's that's nice, you know. Um so, so, so talk a little bit now about your future. What, what are you aiming for? Where are you going, Stone, Stone Boy? So the future must be bright, mm -hmm. but I don't know where I go go on. But I know it's a bigger heights. Bigger heights? Yeah. See? Yeah, so it's just good over evil, basically, and keeping it clean internally. Stone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, we could talk forever, Reggie. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. This is a, gr a great discussion, and we look forward to you Definitely, coming back yeah, to, I'm so to our stage in the future. We also will be tracking you now and seeing what's going on and reporting on it. So you, can set, you should send us all the yeah, new definitely. stuff that's happening in video and what have you. Yeah. But in the meantime, Bridging, have a good stay in Jamaica. How long will you be here for? Um, for three more years, I'm going to run out. And you run out. All right. Yeah. Well, when you run out, Bridging, Respect. send back <laughs> where, where, where you achieved so we can tell people about definitely. it. Definitely. It's definitely. a wonderful, definitely. wonderful so opportunity you've given us to sit down and definitely. talk to you and to connect with the motherland. Chano. Wicked. Yeah. All right, there you have him right here on our stage, Stone Boy. Wow. Stay with us, still to come. Panel discussion on, well, cartel and the appeal, among other topical dance or issues. So China come ya charge it. Him say China come ya charge Him say please no come ya Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back. As the first quarter of 2017 heads to a close, we are taking time out in this segment to look at some of the biggest topical issues 
of the quarter. Chief among them, Lisa Hanna's views that perhaps convicted persons should not have their music played on radio. Cartel granted leave to contest conviction. Dan Saul continues to inundate mainstream music. Chronics selected Face of Summer for Adidas. And to run through some of these issues. With us right now, right here on stage, returning panelist, Scatter Burrell, producer extraordinaire, and first time panelist, <laughs> <laughs> the hot rust <laughs> I obtained right now, right here on our stage. Welcome, sir. Welcome. First time yeah. panelist, yeah. panelist. Welcome. Welcome. First time panelist, sir. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give gentlemen, thanks, Lisa Hannah's, let's start with that. The Lisa Hannah's um, view that um, artists, in, incarcerated artists, should not have their music played on, on air. Mm. Um, that old controversy, what do you make of it? Is that what you, you want to take it well, to the Well, gladly. Um, <clears throat> this happened uh, quite a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of time to evaluate a lot of the comments, some online and in the newspapers and so forth. And one of the main concerns that people have, why they don't find her um, just uh, genuine, mm. During the past elections, no one was concerned about um, which song was being played on the radio or the moral aspect of dance oh, art okay. and society. Mm -hmm. Everything simmered down now, and um, there's a lot of other issues that needs to be fixed. Because the, the music was used in the campaigns a whole yeah, lot on of both them. sides. A whole lot of them, a whole both lot sides. of artists. Dance wow. hall. In every election, dance hall play a major role. Reggae music slash dance hall play a yes. major role. But cartel in particular. And these ministers owe who reggae music, dance hall music a whole lot. Mm -hmm. It should be under the it should be the number one on the list on the list to endorse. Not to pray upon and nitpick and find faults with. There's issues that need to be fixed, but at least you cannot fix a broken guitar. You have to repair the guitar and then you find reasons to make it sound good. Yes. You know? So I think it's just more on praying on something that, um, thinking that you're doing good in society, but same, it look kind of biased and it look hypocritical to the people, the masses. But do you think the, the, mm. the view was directed, it was a direct, was directed at cartel or the system in general? Well, it was directed at cartel. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why that, why that personal approach because it come across like a personal approach. And when it come across as a personal approach, then fans and people are going to get involved and they're going to hear a different perspective. Mm -hmm. you know, but my take on it is the system is the system. I have rules and regulation. But if I am um, in prison, and as, just as Vibes Cartel, and if I can find a way to survive, because it boils down back to survival, mm -hmm. remember saying that the system put away this man, condemn this man, you know what I mean? So, there is no way the system can call upon this man for no farm um, a service or anything because you condemn this man. Yes. So if I in prison, remember me and me with them for go school and everything there, and I have the chance to in the still evolve and survive. Yes. You can't blame the artist, you have to blame the system. Yes. Because yes. the artist can't bring in a computer. The artist can't bring in a phone. No. How it reaching there? Mm -hmm. How the system reaching there? How advice in there? That, that's, that's, that's my whole perspective of it and how I take it. It, it appears to me, Scatter, that the, the fans of Cartel t are taking it personally, like it's an attack <laughs> well, on know. them, because he, he is their hero, yeah. obviously. And uh, so they're living their life, their lives, and you guys should know this. You artists, mm -hmm. all of you, should know that people are living their lives through you, vicariously. Yes. And then what you experience, especially when you come mm -hmm. from the inner city, what your experiences are, are theirs. Mm -hmm. So we, if somebody attacks... So it's like a loser identity, a, you know what I mean? A man yeah. like Cartel, you're yeah. attacking the underclass. Plus, That's how they look at plus, it, you know. Plus Winford. And their justice is different. Mm -hmm. Plus you make danger, you put danger to the artist's life. Because remember, I'm a carpenter, I'm a day person too. I do mm -hmm. 35 years. When you eye like that, now you look like you give me preference over you. Mm -hmm. You never know, a man chip might lick. A man see and try to stab him Every and just feel like, yo, yo, you are being, because you're an artist, you know what I mean? I think that she should first go after the system, yes. the establishment, of which she's a part. In fact, her party was in power to last year. It is not to say she can't make the statement about 
persons well, than by having so much influence on the straight society. The but you must first and foremost, because mm -hmm. this man is in your care, as Octane was saying, yeah. he's basically condemned mm -hmm. for 35 to life. That means that the, the, if we were still hanging, you know, mm -hmm. the sentence would have been, he would have yeah, been dead. Yeah, that sentence. So you cannot appeal to his moral code yeah. or, or to his, ah, to his conscience. Yeah. Your, basic, your rights are, are basically taken away from you when you're convicted. Is it what, clear what that the, him, was, she was going after? What, I don't that's know what that I'm that saying. Scary. What was the aim of all of this? Because yeah, at, the, at the end of the day, if you don't achieve something substantial that is going to help society, right. it is all argumentative like you're picking on something. I still don't see the big picture of all of that that happened there. Yeah, but I don't know if she should come under so much fire too. Because perhaps, listen to, this is a quote. Perhaps convicted persons mm -hmm. should not have their music played on radio. That's the problem. But it's a reflection of the code. system. As yes, yes. Yes. that's what I'm saying. The system in Jamaica provides a lot of. System. It's like mm -hmm. a strain. She, she should have clarified and put it directly and squarely yes. Yes. at the system yes. of which she's a part Thank as you. government. And but which other artists, if there's a, but which other artists in prison right now are current to the music are playing? Yes. We don't want some bias like we attack Lisa and I. We don't want some bias. It's just like how she approached it and how she said. Mm -hmm. I think she should have asked a question instead of just so, um, demand something like that. But I would like to see her go after mm -hmm. the system. On, yeah. on, on, based on and, what? And, and promise to change it. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know that that's not what she's doing. She, but I don't see, I don't follow everything. I don't know. But I would have hoped mm -hmm. that in this discourse, in this time yeah. for her, she would have taken on the time, the opportunity to Fix. say, yeah. I, Lisa Anna, is going to change that. Because yeah. she's, she's aspiring to be lead of the party and, and, day, and perhaps yeah. prime minister and so one on. Day, yeah. So she give that commitment to the people and say, me, I'm going to change mm -hmm. this system where it's free for all, people can do as they like. And that would probably cool the whole thing. But still on cartel, though, the, the appeal is one day, the, um, mm -hmm. the, 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 the... It was approved. So they approved the, the, the application yes. for leave to, to, uh, to contest the conviction. Yes. How do you feel about that? I think it's a good gesture. I think I think it's a good um, initiative. You want to know more? I think it's you, a good initiative. You think he deserves a, a number? I would appeal. I would appeal because I don't know how scatter feel about the case, mm. but I would appeal. Not, there's a lot of loophole in the case. Mm. There's yes, a, of course. There's yeah. a lot of loophole in the case, and we, we discuss this upon corner, and upon end. Regardless of which side, you, know what you mean? Yes. want justice to, to be served. You don't still want justice. Plus, as okay. I say, it still boils down to survival where any, any cracker, any not anything as yes. a person can get you to survive. The appeal could, could help to fix the justice system because there were lots of, as you put it, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. lots of holes in the case. A lot of holes. And that if, if it, it was America, I'm going to get sent. And the people of Jamaica should demand this. But look because at we, it's our justice system. Look at and Jamaica. We should fix look at, look at Jamaica. In it. Look at Jamaica. One of the main reasons why this country is a third world country mm -hmm. is because of the loophole that exists within the country. Mm -hmm. So, 80% of the country not paying tax because there's a lot of loopholes to avoid a lot of things. So the common man, the law can work against him, but the man with the wealth and a lot of things can make the law work for him. Yes. Mm -hmm. When him back is against the wall. Yes. Someone like Cartel now. Right now, him is a champion for every ghetto youth because they must see him as somebody with a system I try to mash up. Mm -hmm. So if a, vic a victory in any case or any matter for cartel within this case right now, any type of victory is a victory for every regular, typical Jamaican ghetto youth and the people, them, the common folk. So them always see high society people ghetto with white collar crime. Mm -hmm. So why one a week can ghetto with something too? Because it look, it look like say it only make for help the people them who can afford it. So we want to and again, beat and, again yeah. and again the political establishment, mm -hmm. the leadership of the country. Yes. Both the um, the private sector leadership, yes. the religious leadership, the political leadership in Jamaica mm -hmm. collectively, mm -hmm. they ought to know that they that people have that mentality mm -hmm. where they see the government as an adversary and not working for them yes. is not entirely their fault. They were socialized to see things that way. And they ought to know that it's their country and they have more rights. They have as, as much rights as anybody else, People. including the politician yeah. and the prime minister. Yeah. That they don't have more rights than the, the guy on the street in the inner city. Mm -hmm. If you empower people and let them know this, perhaps they will cooperate with the system because <coughs> if they break the system, they're breaking their own. But they see yeah. it as, as the enemy. And the enemy 
is m messing up the, their little one man. <laughs> oh, a champ. Yeah. We get you. They, they but but, champ, but, yeah. but um, the system works so well where a man with eyes can have a vision behind the system. Mm -hmm. Unless you abreast about a lot of things, or you, you escape through, through, through certain things and, yes, yes. And, and, and get a proper education so you can look beyond things. Because as we well, say, I say, we are the leader, but we don't know that. The people, the majority don't know that they're yeah. the leader. No, they... You understand? And it boils down to a thing when he's dieted. Yeah. And you see, when people don't have the knowledge and become so dieted, that means uh, them, them overlook them rights and them well-being and all of the things that are beneficial to them. It's a price we're paying for, yes, for it's a, it's a price. manipulating people for political gains. And then we lose. For religious gains and all kinds of other gains. <laughs> Even artists so, too. Mm -hmm. Manipulate fan base and make people loyal to them. To and they will them. lose the value of justice. And everybody loses. Everybody. Nobody knows where they lost this Because yeah. if, I, if, if, if I can be one of them, you are in a society and may have money and then make your hurt scatter and get away with it. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, wrong, you know. Then we lose the value of justice. We lose the value of justice because we now on the panel now say, cartel for vice in a jail or cartel a vice in a jail. Mm -hmm. We are saying... We don't know that. We, I don't know no proof. We are saying survival. Yeah. Yes. So if him a vice in a jail, it's system to blame. Any man in jail. If Jesus go in jail, I think he's going to try something. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Jesus will be trying something. Yeah. That's prison, you know, and yeah. especially when you're doing life and you're condemned, yeah. more, more or less. All right, so mainstream is still in do, you know, inundated mm -hmm. with dancehall mm -hmm. in this first quarter as well. Last year was massive, and this year it, it, as I think it's surging still. Yeah. And, and yet we're yet to see any Jamaican jumping in there, and <laughs> apart from, of course, Sean Paul. And so I'm, I, I would, and somebody is bigging up. I don't know if it's Hot 97, I think, congratulating Drake and Tory Lane, mm -hmm. and Tory Lanez for bringing back dance so far. Oh. I, 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 what do you feel about that? Drake, Tory Lane, and Ed Sheeran with his new song, yes. um, Shape Up. Every day a new one, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Especially, well, it is yeah. because acting as an artist, I don't know if you can attest to this, but Production nowadays, I always say it lies in the hands of the producer them. Mm -hmm. And the producer them will have the ability to voice the artists them who are the forerunners in the industry right now. The man them we are lead. Mm -hmm. Them kind of dictate where music go. Because in my time, in my era, when me are shot it up. It was the lead, producer. The producer them dictate the, the music and not okay. the masses. But just oh. because the, the Jamaica is influenced by cable television now and hip hop music and so forth, you feel so you need to make your beat sound like a hip-hop beat. And understand, say, you're a Jamaican dancehall producer. Culturally, you're obligated to keep that thing in your Culture. music. Mm -hmm. So the music itself has lost its identity, so America is not taking on to it because they love it. And when they want to say they want to do something that sounds Caribbean sounding like, then go to Jamaica. And if they're looking at Jamaica and say, our music starts sound like for them one in our watered down fashion. They're gonna say no, it's not being done correctly. Let's do it ourselves. We just had um, we just had Stone Boy mm -hmm. from Ghana. What what's your take on him? His music is what he's doing. The well, Stone Boy, Stone Boy is a huge artist. He's a huge artist. I remember some reggae music and dancehall music mm -hmm. um, have a lot of impact globally. You know, yes. Yes. the problem we have is 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 is, is not the music and the talent as we scatter say. It's infrastructure. We don't have an infrastructure. We don't have um, programs that we put you in. Uh, so they can do proper interviews, be a complete artist, know if you show up on time, know keys, go, go vice training, etc. We don't have that. So we have a taxi driver, sing one song, and become a number one, number <laughs> one shouldn't song. That be well, and we move from there. We make the transition from a taxi man to an artist. Yes. And then we make a lot of mistakes, and we do in Jamaica. We don't forgive for mistakes. Mm. So globally, we, 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 um, we inspire people globally to do dancehall and reggae music out there. Like Jake and Tori Lanez, them out there. It's not Jake doing dancehall, Jake using his power, mm. his hip hop bars, brand, are, yeah. his brand, doing dancehall and pulling the crowd and getting the views and getting all of them things there. Because a proper infrastructure was put it's around Jake. Him, yeah. 
You understand? So like Stone Boy them. Stone Boy alone have put 40, 60,000 people so in a So who do you venue. blame for, not, for Jamaica not having... Stone Boy long back to the country and the government Jamaica, and everything is, Jamaica. But do you want government to put in that infrastructure? Not, no, look here. Shouldn't it be a private no, enterprise? No, no. This, 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 this is the, the government so The government messed yeah, it up yeah. from day one, yes. Winford. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dance Hall is to be Dance Hall and Radio Land and Media Land was Media Land and Radio. Yeah. But right now, Anything we play on the dance hall, I play on the radio, and vice versa, because dance hall shut down. You don't have venues where you go and get authentic dance hall lessons. Mm -hmm. Because when you go out in a dance hall you party, you learn while you're a party. Because you hear drums are clacking in your ears, your ears tone love bass are shake your heart. And as a producer, you know if your song makes good when it plays against the King mm -hmm. Jamming song. So you go back and you go back to the drawing board. Nowadays, everybody listens to music pan this, so everything sounds good pan this, whether it makes good or not. Mm -hmm. So the music, when they pump it up in a club in America now, them now I hear it because it now makes and sound good. Yes. So the music has so far. But is that the biggest problem? Or is it, is it, it the marketing it, and the positioning? You market yeah. something that's not good. And the, the proper yeah, managing, and the, and the management. Management and the marketing. Is and that, the, yeah. uh, the, the manageability of artists. Because, yes, a lot, a lot of fixing can go on mm -hmm. with on the production side. Yeah. But production, product, perfection is one thing. But sometimes a product is imperfect. Mm -hmm. But with good marketing and positioning mm -hmm. and, 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 and so on, the product is the biggest thing in the world. But that, but so that, that all boy along, our, that, that all boy along back our, to, our promotion that side. That boy along back to our experience and the knowledge about the business. You saw Chris Blackwell that come and take a Bob Marley and put him for the next level. But every time... It boy long, but it no longer win for the boy long back to the knowledge because, what you know now? An artist get established, sing one song. I say, Scatter, I'm a friend here. Are you for be my manager? That can't work. Uh -huh. Yes. I'm blind, I lead blind, that's so. all. But I don't have the knowledge for no so that can't work. I deal, deal with friendship now when I try to support scatter feelings. Mm -hmm. But you're not supposed in to be like career. that. It's supposed to be business. Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to know so that so man the, me and him and a friend him never call so me the every infrastructure day. Infrastructure of which you speak. Yes. Is is starting from scratch. It's to socialize from scratch to educate. Because remember, I can just get up and just go up and to socialize ABC, and educate TV people too. Man in me. I forget somebody. To ready them it. for what they want to do. Yeah, for the world. Bring them to a level of readiness. But, yeah. but in terms of that's why we Jamaican in terms of, of course, education. We might use the word other people, other Africans them. Yeah. So much hit songs, how much billboard songs African them get. Yeah. What they? But and they know, but we know. My youth is stone boy, you know. He did, he did marketing in school. That's what he studied. Because the Africans, <laughs> them can do that. And he's and surging. Them have, the, them have the market. He's surging in the world because he, he sound and look and behave like a regular dance or artist. But look at his, 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 his the, um, the, the, the credentials. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's behind that. Marketing credentials will help you to define behavior. That's behavior among... Um, consumers mm -hmm. or potential consumers of your music and also um, and identify how you get the product to market, when, where they want it. These are basic principles of how marketing works. And it's applied to Drake, to Rihanna, you know, you know, to all of these artists that you're envying in mainstream. <coughs> that is what is at work. It's not visible and glamorous looking but when because all is, is... So we talk a lot about product. Product perfection, sound and, and so on of product. Great products are being made in my view, but the great product is lost if not properly channeled in, and get to the market and stick get to the ears of the stick people. Stick up in, though. This is Jamaica, see? Yes. Three million people roughly, right? You're looking at the whole of continent of Africa. Millions of people. Yes. And they all Support. Support. This culture. As a, as a young artist, they're more inclined to excel than any Jamaican artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the population center. Again, I want, again uh, these are things, these are, these, are, these are functions of marketing. And it mm -hmm. might sound like I am keep hopping at this. When you have those basic understanding of how market works, you could understand that his population base, mm. in our words, people who would be interested in it, is a, you can put the numbers there and know that if you release this thing, you're at least... Okay. Yeah. X amount of millions will test it. That means X amount of millions of views. Exactly. It suggests to a brand that this guy, I should have him endorse my brand yes. because he's got ten million, the ears ten and eyes exactly. of X. Yeah. Your Jamaica, little three million, and Ronia ah, tried to one-up yeah. man ship on some other little man yeah. Ronia, is what is holding you back. Because you are yet to see the world. You are yet to see Ghana. 
as, as a potential market. And you, you don't buy, know how and, to get and to And you by yourself with your career mm -hmm. can't even afford to put a whole team around you because yes. when, you, when a promoter book you for sure with four or five hundred people coming in, it can't pay you and your manager, your stylist and, and your publicist. That's why so we, the that's team cut short to our bridge and that's Here's what we have going for us. That's why we Everything need. we do, it goes out on its own, in a lot of, mm -hmm. more often than not. On its own, it finds consumers. Yeah. Fans on its own, it just floats on can, the can ocean if we market that? <laughs> and on the plane and migrate to places yeah. without any marketing, without any direction, without control, without, without del deliberate tactical strategies that will get it to you and make you love it forever. That is what everybody else is doing. Who, who, yes, and then the who next is in, thing now, the next, everybody else the next is doing it. Over, who is in the big league? The big league is not the next without problem, what I just said. The next problem we have to win first. Yeah. The next problem we have to scatter, because scatter I like the beat. And mm -hmm. next time we have is artists and our world. When we was and I run the place, mm -hmm. I reach for the next level. Mm -hmm. We want to reach for the next level to come hype and demand them down here. Yeah. Yeah. Why we want to do them something? Why we, when we bust and go international, no, why we not say, yo, Scott, you know, she's a vice man five yeah. years ago. Yeah. Remember, so I start to mix with Farrell and them type yeah. of people. So I start to have that perspective yes. of the music. Why we not do them things? Why when we read me, mainstream? We don't carry people. We don't carry with people, yeah. would we? A lot of people in Jamaica go mainstream, but we don't yeah. carry people, would we? We need to carry people, yeah, would we? Go live the people life and come producer. Back. Let's take a break right here. When we come back, we're going to continue to discuss more of these issues, and we'll hear from Octane. Why is it that he is <laughs> taking, what, what beef with the government? He has a beef. A person beef with the government. No, we'll hear about that when no, we come back. Oh, okay. Vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> the government, who are in the country. So China come and charge you. Him say China come and charge you. Him say please no come and charge Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. Welcome back. We're discussing some of the latest, most topical issues in dancehall. In the first quarter of 2017, Scatter Burrell and I Obtain are our panelists at the moment, and we've been talking a lot about the music and, and incarceration and Miss Hannah's comment and all of that. So now, Hot rats, you, you have an issue with the government, right? <laughs> what is your issue with it? What is your beef with the government, man? No, it's all for us, just kind of say. <laughs> if I sing a song like Prison Life, mm -hmm. which I think that song should have been, got to know it, mm -hmm. should have been a part of the national You know program. it too. You understand? <laughs> I know it. <laughs> I, think, I write that song from a prisoner okay. perspective. Yes. I tell you, them stay away because this man is too bad at road and him go prison and him find out somebody least at the apostle. So please. You know, and that song they're not going nowhere, boy. Nowhere. No, you know, play they're not going nowhere. Yeah. You understand? And I sing, man, if you have love, love, girl, you know, and it go number one. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to continue to sing those type of songs because it boils them to survive and they have to survive. You understand? So I think the government, before them start to bash and say, yo, they want songs, people for do more inspiring songs and uplift the country. A lot of people around here are the world by inspiring songs. That's why the culture artists, them, and the reggae artists, them, after a while, they just leave Jamaica Pick and go yeah. some place where people accept them and respect, the music. And respect yeah. their music. I mean, I said the government look into, like how Nesbeth go sing My Dream and everything mm -hmm. there. If you look into the music and select some songs and get it played and get it in the society, That's your get in society, good songs, the same songs them, where they require, and then we have a better result. Because the moral settings right now, the standard of the moral settings, Globally and locally is very poor. I think you know if and I'm not mistaking, if I'm not mistaking, I think the Ministry of National Security is looking at something similar. They need to. A couple of years ago, you have you know when oh. you have a budjo at, but you still have a capitan mm -hmm. at, and you still have a bounty at, and you still have a bini at. Yeah. So it balance. You have capitan and sizzler at one time with bini and bounty. Then you have highway and seven cultural artists. Can we segue then, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, mm -hmm. balance? Because chronics, mm -hmm. who some say, no hot round here anymore. Mm -hmm. I know, kind of. I, but are the same things. thing play out on chronics? Are the chronics same thing play out on chronics? Is just landed mm. the face of Adidas for summer 2017. And I believe that's a big deal. He has just done the Tonight Show, 
in the U.S. and is making some very big coveted appearances all over the U.S. as we speak. What is Scatter? Take that on. Your views on that. Well, Connick showed promise of, you would say, a future version of Bob Marley. I'm sure that's what Chris. That Black promise lives. Yeah, that's what I'm sure that's what Chris Blackwell saw him because a lot of this has a lot to do with to Chris do with Chris. Chris well. Yes. And um, the discipline that Connix has, he know him there to stop compete in uh, Jamaica as acting. Seg segregate himself. Mm -hmm. As if you stay here too long, them them divide them bully and break you. This these people here, them break you, them bully you up. But when them think you go too far and get too successful. Them stop support you. Stop support your music. Eat he's arts. winning. Chronix is winning, mm. and he's he's not ruffled by the so-called no hot boat yet thing. I've spoken to him many times, yeah. and he's as cool as ever, and yeah. and just fired up and and focused. I'm out of time, but I want to ask yeah. you. I want to congratulate you on your Brit Jam performance. Okay. Because some man will say you're not hot no more in our trust. No, <laughs> some man, man will want to say that. That's something relative, man. All right. So you, a, you just did this tremendous at performance at Winford, that's at at something relative. Here yeah. one. My perspective in music is different. I put myself in the music where them can't get rid of acting. Yes. Me a, it's you invest a puzzle. in it. It's yes. a puzzle. Yes. Even if I'm not the middle piece of the puzzle, I'm still a part of the puzzle. Without me, it can't complete. Yes. Which big show can book run and don't book acting. Yeah. Mm. Look how much show them keep. Some person much years. So how much money come with them. Look up. Let me talk. No, no, that you can tell the rest of them to do instead of talking about government. Who has shelled down the whole place? No, instead of talking first, about government, you know, do you think about coming out this when they put for clothes? Instead of yeah, talking about I, government. Uh -huh. Show them the blueprint. Show them your work. No, man, I'm not telling you. I'm sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you're saying. I'm not telling you. I'm not you. I'm not telling you. So. And you did it your way. Yeah, yeah. me do it my own. way. So the greatest yeah. thing, as well, you say, remember, I'm a, a dance artist and I'm a cultural artist. So I still have to keep Jamaica um, as a priority because I do dance art too. And I like that I run down like. Me at 21 are them to things act, again. Yeah. No. Me just yeah. stay current and do my thing yeah. and just make sure so everything work out same way because of the longevity thing me I deal with because I surpass the stage. Eh. When is the album? Yeah, you know, um, me don't plan for an April release, but me kind of maybe shift it back to May or so. All right. You know? So let's leave it right there because yes. we want to deal with the album in a special Love way. and Life. The album is Love and Life, all courtesy of me. Coming in May. And Good, Coming good Production. Soon. Coming in soon. Yeah. Don't make the people them kill me. New rules. Yeah, yeah then it's got that. Of course, backstage right. pass. So we shall send them come. <laughs> new rules. Okay, so new rules are next week. Yeah, new rules. The and 25th. One of the top man is <laughs> the hot rats. Book live, right? <laughs> Book live. Yeah, man. New rules. The 25th. You don't know a stadium care about that. Don't miss it. Yes, and the others on it. Yeah, you have alkaline. You don't know that go already. Shaggy. Vendetta. Shaggy. A good show for Shaggy yeah, still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we have who else? Jamil. Jamil. Movado. Yeah, man. Frostman. Major thing. Major thing I next myself week. Myself acting. Yeah. At, at the at National Stadium. Uh, yeah. <laughs> with Park. And don't Kingston. forget Reggae Sunfest coming up. A Reggae Sunfest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, Sunfest uh, is, you know, that is our, yeah, yeah, sure. our, our baby. So. Holy Patting. Although the baby grew up, you know, and, yeah. and get married <laughs> to Joe. <laughs> 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 Some fest is good, man. Some fest will be, will be good, and we know that some great things are happening with it. And that, yeah. too, yeah. we'll be discussing a lot in the coming weeks right here on stage and months. Yes. All right, so that's our show for this week. Please. Winford Williams, on behalf of Please. my panelists, regular scatter and new panelist, analyst, <laughs> hot ras. Yeah, I okay. Yeah, we, 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 need, we need to invite me again. <laughs> yeah, you will be coming back, because you have a lot to say. Yeah. All right, so Winford Williams on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Give me money at half the press, at half the press. At half the press, at half the press. Yeah, send me in a Versace base. I'm a full filler of the days. No money at half the press, at half the press. I talk the press, I talk the press, girl. See me in a Versace dress. I want to fulfill our holiness.
Thanks for watching our video. If you are not yet a subscriber, click now and be on stage. Always.